The subnational group that I will be talking about is Tesla and how they're creating more environmentally friendly forms of transportation. Tesla was created in 2010 by Elon Musk, and since then they have invented new all-electric vehicles that give off much less carbon emissions than internal combustion engines, like gas cars and diesel trucks. These cars are becoming more popular among consumers because Tesla and its vehicles help reduce the amount of greenhouse gases emitted every day by the use of gas cars. In 2020, the year that their latest impact report is from, Tesla and its customers helped avoid around 5 million metric tons of carbon dioxide emissions. This is a substantial amount of greenhouse gases that could have polluted our atmosphere and increased the impact of climate change. And to show the scale of emissions, we can see each internal combustion engine emits around 69 tons of CO2 over the vehicle's lifetime. You can see that in this diagram right here. The dark blue represents the manufacturing phase and the emissions given. And the light blue is the usage phase in those emissions. And along with cleaner, more efficient emissions, the longevity of a Tesla vehicle is also a major factor in reducing the rate of climate change. Gas engines usually last around 150 to 200,000 miles with lowest emissions if taken care of perfectly. Tesla aims to multiply the mileage of gas cars with lithium ion batteries, making these electric vehicles much more practical for long term use. And we can see that in this graph. The red line is the tr percentage of battery capacity, and right here is 200,000 miles. You can see it's still well over 90%. And as our impact statement claims, as new technology is invented, an electric car will begin to waste less energy because there will be cleaner sources of energy added to the grid. So overall, Tesla cars seem to be a great option for long-term, environmental friendly, and sustainable use. Moving into production of these cars, Tesla has made impressive steps to making a full circle of recycled energy and materials. <clears throat> The company uses solar panels that they have attached to the roof of many of their factories. <coughs> Excuse me. These solar panels allow for a direct transfer of energy from the sun to the production of these cars. One, of this, one example of these factories is Gigafactory Nevada, which was created to be covered with solar panels on the roof. And they plan to cover the entire roof and have a capacity of 24,000 kilowatts by the end of 2022. And we can see here, the amount of energy. Blue is the amount of energy they produce and gray is the amount of energy they use. <clears throat> and the final topic I will discuss is the recyclability of the batteries and other materials in the electric vehicles. As of 2020, Tesla has created battery processing centers where they will take apart old batteries and recycle whatever they can. According to their impact report of 2020, 100% of the batteries are recycled and no batteries will end up in landfills to keep the environment pollution free from physical waste. This shows that companies that make electric cars have enough technology to make these vehicles very recyclable and usable on long term. Tesla continues to lead in the electric automobile market because of their luxury vehicles and sustainable use of Earth's materials. The company has bigger visions as well as they plan to replace large diesel semi-trucks with similar electric trucks. Combination trucks make up only 1% of vehicle used, but produce 17% of the United States carbon dioxide emissions. So this would be an incredible achievement if they can achieve this. Overall, Tesla has completely taken over and pioneered the electric vehicle market and is making a great change to our globe.